Welcome to the example. My name is Davin. In this video, me, Mike, and Israel discuss the importance of creating a legacy for your family. Is it important to leave your family a legacy? So we're going to start off with Brother Israel. Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I think about uh, uh, what Mike said. He used a, uh, the connotation or the dynamic of footprints. A footprint and your footprint is very and important because we, we can even look at it from a scientific uh, uh, point of view uh, carbon your carbon footprint how we how we how, how are we managing the world our resources and the same thing when it comes to parenting or when it comes to uh, uh, our relationship with God and, and, and community how how are we managing the resources that we have to make Tomorrow better for the next generation. We have to we have to be uh, conscious of sustainability. Sustainability. What will there be something left behind? Will will my child have something to work with? Because I don't want him to have to go through the same struggles that I went through. I don't want to have. I don't want him to have to deal with the same thing. We have a responsibility to to our children in community to make things better for them. You always have to be conscious and mindful. Of, I have to make it better for, for those who are coming behind me. And it's, it's important for these little things like, you know, your finances, you know, that you need, like, uh, brother, oh my God, Well, I'm just gonna say, like, for example, finance, insurance, you know, leave the key, I'm, I'm not worried all right. I see all these kids driving, you know, Land Rovers, Range Rovers, BMW, Mercedes, and that's not really from like a, you know, uh, somebody, you know, making businesses all the time, like a business. That's somebody making some insurance money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some little stuff like that. They even legacy and money. They even, um, you know, having a mom and dad in the home, you know, having a, a standard in the home that kids can learn from, that type of legacy. Um, Financial legacy, what I said, um, just you know, give a godly yeah. legacy, T teaching about you know God, you know, um, uh, teaching to be productive citizens, you know, all that things. I believe that that's important about you know legacy, you know. So um, yeah, like, man. I, but what both of y'all said, uh, you know, in terms of legacy, what I think about and and leaving the biggest and best footprint you can for the next generation of yeah. people behind you, whether it's my mentees, my nephews, nieces, siblings, whoever it may be. Um, I think the first thing we have to do with legacy is define what we want that to be. Yeah. And it's a matter of looking at what you take an inventory of what you had or did not have. Yeah. And so now I can actually say, let me work on what I want my legacy to be. Mm -hmm. Let me build it because mm -hmm. now, okay, let me get more financial literacy. Let yeah. me get financial literacy in my life. Yeah. Okay. Now let me talk about black mental health something that a lot of times we don't want to talk oh, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk about that. Yeah. Let me talk about spirituality. Let yeah. me talk, let me do that stuff. And now the more knowledge I get and the more I put things into practice, now I can actually, another one you mentioned, insurance, you know, mm -hmm. life insurance, different things. Now I can leave an actual legacy behind. Yeah. So I think it's, you know. Man, if you leave your kid, you know, a million dollars when you die, that dang it. I mean, most people don't have more than Two three hundred thousand in debt, you know, and that's on the high side. Right, and then also, and then also though, with that, you know, with that a million dollars, yeah. all the other stuff you taught them. Now, yeah. did they know anything about black mental health and financial literacy? Because you yeah. can blow a million. <laughs> you yeah, you can. Can blow. Yeah, you so can. it's like now, <laughs> do I have I been left with the tools to know how to operate now? Not the mode of just work, 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 but create. Yeah. So now, has the next generation been exposed to let's create? Instead of now, it's just the American dream is, we hit American dream, go to school, get a job, get married, house, get a dog, whatever. Mm -hmm. We never hear go to school, create mm -hmm. yes. jobs, mm -hmm. create, you be the owner, you be the next, you, you know, you be the next person, employ, you know, grow, all that stuff. So I think that's, that's part of building that legacy. And that's something that I think you never stop working on. You never stop working on to that last day yeah. because you're always it's like you know it's like that that perfect art canvas you're always 
erasing it. Adding, you always add some stuff to that legacy, and I think that's the right. important thing with legacy. I think it really starts with this question of being an example of being a bit men. You know, again, you know, men coming out, taking their responsibility, and leading their homes, to put this information out there, you know, in the spirit, you know, about you know, legacy, teaching about spiritual, you know, uh, mental health, insurance, all that. It's very important for men to step out and stand up and start taking uh, accountability. Right, <laughs> like, right, what we've been talking about, you know, so mother is with you. And, 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 and that's, that is so, that is, that's so vital. A man has a culture, your culture, our culture, has so much wrapped in it, so much, uh, so many elements. And our culture, you talk about the Caucasian culture, uh, opposed to, or uh, when you put it against uh, African American culture, they they are what you call insurance poor. They are insurance poor. They, and so now you, you look at, I'm gonna come back to insurance poor. You come back to your value system. What is your value system? Because, if we value family reunion, we're gonna be in attendance every year. So your value says you will invest in what you value. Yeah. So if you don't value your family, you're not gonna leave an inheritance to your family. And the word of God, we can we can come back to a biblical perspective, say a blessed man will leave his children, children in inheritance. So you're talking about a generational blessing opposed to a generational curse. If I don't make a good decision, if I don't be, if I don't be selfless instead of being selfish. Because if I be selfish, I'm gonna get the Corvette, I'm gonna get all that right now, the, the present gratification. Then they say, I'm gonna set aside, I'm gonna allocate that money to a life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. To where now, if I can't benefit my child while I'm living, then when I'm gone, they're gonna be, see insurance is not for, it's not for the dead. Mm -hmm. People don't know that. Yeah, <laughs> insurance yeah. is for the living. Yeah, yeah. And so, but as a culture, we don't, you can do a, a census. You can you can do a population. You can do a statistics. If you if you if you were to go out and do a, a census on our culture, African American, a lot of us we don't invest in insurance. And a lot of us, I, I've heard it a lot of times. I don't care what you do. I don't. Hey, man, it is what I. I'm gonna take care of you while I'm living. And if I'm gone, you you know you're on your own. Or you hear so many. Uh, so many different verbiage of now, nah, hey, you you know I'm gonna do what I can now. I'm gonna take you, but when I'm you better do you know you better work it out for yourself or, or figure it out for yourself. And so, is an is an insurance is it an is an opportunity to change your loved ones, your seed, your 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 uh, lineage, future, based off you being selfless, based off you just really allocating a small amount of money or whatever it is. To 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 a, a, a fund or an account, mm -hmm. accountability or an account, because you now say I want to see my my seed my I want to leave a generational blessing because I, I I oppose I come against I reject the notion of generational curses. It stops with me right now. It stops with me. I am I I man I come I I'm the block in that pipeline. For the, that next black man, I'm a man. I'm a, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the roadblock in that pipeline. And so I reject the fact that man, that my, my wife and my my kids gonna have to continue to take student loans after I'm passed. Yeah. No, if I make a good decision, that's it for student loans. Cause I'm gonna have my insurance policy is gonna be so it's gonna be so robust mm -hmm. that they might they, they they if they desire to work they can work, but they won't have to do what I did because I'm supposed to make it better. That's what it's all about. Legacy is making it better. God made it better. And notice something so profound about legacy. Jesus told the disciples, how can Yeshua tell the disciples, a man, he said, greater work shall y'all do. But he was legacy minded. He said, I'm going to go. My, my way, my destiny is to the cross. He said, but y'all won't, won't, won't walk with me. He said, man, y'all y'all will walk. Y'all, I will be on the inside. Yeah. My spirit will be a part of it. So greater works will y'all do. Touching, healing the blind. He said, if you if your faith is, is, is big enough, hey, what I did, you can do the same thing. And so he was legacy minded. He said, I'm gonna go the way of, of the cross. But he said, man, I'm leaving a legacy for y'all to do the same thing I do and do it better. 
My uh, grandpa passed. I don't know, man. I was like, God damn, man, he felt like he was so loved, man. You know, I was like, damn, man, he was loved, man. You know, I, I didn't know him too well. He lived, like, in Savannah. Mm-hmm. And um, grandma and uh, granddaddy got divorced. So, uh, he had, like, another family, but he had a big old family. Mm-hmm. And I was like, God dang it. Man, he just loved this man. You know, as much as they, you know, talked about went up. It wasn't like Cooper and Highland, you know, it was like, man, this guy did this for me. He taught me how to be a man. He taught me this and that. And I'm like, God dang it. You know, when I pass, you know, I'm gonna leave a little bit of money too. But, you know, I was I wanna be talking about that. I was I was I taught somebody to me. Yeah. You know, I changed somebody's life, you know, uh, and I and I and I made an impact. You know, I mean I'm talking about, you know, shedding tears. It wasn't like a tear of Tears of, uh, you know, sadness and loss. It was tears of joy, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This guy, this guy changed these people's lives, lives, man, you know? I mean, you know, and even the little time that I knew him a little bit, I mean, I, mean, I see how good of a man he was, you know? So, but, man, you know, that's, I, I'm, I'm just saying, that's the legacy I want to make. Yeah. I want to live, you know, y'all at the funeral, you know, people, my son, daughter, whatever, at the funeral, they talking about how good I was, how much I changed lives, how much I loved them. You know, and uh, you know how much I love God. You know all that stuff. Man. So yeah, and that's I mean that's it. Legacy is multifaceted. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be one thing. And that's another thing even about life is it's what you make it. Yeah. You know it's it's a you know that cliche. It's an empty canvas, yeah. and it's it's what it's what you make it. And um, your legacy doesn't have to be one thing. Yeah. But the thing is, leave one. Yeah. <laughs> leave one. Yeah. There we go. All right, guys. So uh, I appreciate y'all so much, man. This has been really, really, really good stuff, man. And I noticed, uh, you know, you guys are definitely an example <laughs> of men, <laughs> and uh, it's definitely gonna help some men out. Thanks for tuning in to the example. Comment below and join the conversation. Subscribe and uh, check out our other videos. God bless.